Natoa, Natoa, Sweet Mabu, Channel 16. In the morning, we make contact with Craig Matkin. He's agreed to give us rare access to his research. Most studies on the effects of the spill started after the fact. But Craig's work predates the spill. So if anyone can tell us the true story of the Prince William Sound, it's Craig and his team. Yeah. Hey, hey nice Craig. Nice to meet you, JJ. Very nice to meet you. I got started with killer whales uh, because they seem to keep following me around. It just seemed like uh, I needed to know something about them. And uh, well, the Exxon Valdez oil spill had a major effect on one particular pod. We ended up losing nine total. We were then able to track what happened with these groups. The killer whale, or orca, is the world's largest dolphin species and one of the smartest predators. We've been um, working pretty seriously to document the population. And Exxon basically denied there was much of an effect on anything at the beginning. However, just the data was so strong and the fact that we could determine who was born and died in these groups, and they had a very hard time arguing with the evidence we had. Through his research, Craig and his team determined that a pod of whales caught up in the spill, known as the Chugach transients, have their own unique language and gene pool. And since the spill, they have not reproduced. It's been 1986 was the last time that uh, they had a calf. But certainly after the oil spill, there was a, uh, you know, they were hammered. There's this big social disruption. And then some of the survivors are ill also. So you're uh, disturbing a culture. Craig and his team say that the Chugach pod was likely too contaminated by the spill to successfully reproduce. The oil affected the whale's habitat in a number of ways. That The beaches were, of course, the most impacted areas. There's still oil in the sediments on a number of the beaches. To get a sense for how far the oil extended 26 years ago, we're meeting up with Terry Kennedy. Terry flew over the spill that day and has been watching the Prince William Sound from the sky ever since. You ready? Yeah, let me just start this guy. How many years you been flying? Oh, I started when I was a teenager. Uh, I was 14, that was 54 years ago, and then I've been flying commercially 46 years. Awesome country. Yeah, huh? You know, I mean, it's been a fantastic place to fly. Natoa, Natoa, 206 Fox, 206 Fox. Yeah, 206, uh, just so you go by there. Hey, Craig, you're looking good from way up here. How's your day going so far? Beautiful day. Haven't found any whales yet, but... <laughs> So yeah, we'll probably head down this way, and if we don't find anything, we'll head up Prince of Wales. Copy that, yeah, we sure is beautiful from up here. I'll bet, I'll bet. All right, well, sounds good. Well, we'll probably rendezvous with you later on today. Copy that, yeah, we've got our sat phone on. I mean, there's no denying, it's stunning. You know, how much of this landscape here that we're seeing had oil from the time? Well, most of it came down and out through this this portion of the sound. Uh, I was a second airplane over it that morning, you know, and basically all it looked like was a big mud splotch in the water to me, you know, what I could see. And then later on was when it was started hitting the beaches and you really saw, you know, the effects of it. So anything you saw was on the shoreline, you know, you didn't see a big blob or anything like that, but when it would hit the beaches then you could, you could really see the stuff. There's some beaches you go to, you can still smell it, you know, it's, it's there. To this day, you can still smell to it. To this day, yeah. So we just got off a float plane with Terry. And what I found really fascinating is as we were flying over, we saw dozens and dozens of fishing boats that are going after pink salmon right along the shoreline. And it makes you wonder how much spilled oil could still be here after all these years. Here there are hundreds of salmon swimming over the spot where we're told that there's toxic oil from 26 years ago. Yellow warning Tuesday. Today, south wind 30 knots. C7 feet building to 12. 
long feed in the afternoon.